Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now today I'm going to be uh, talking about a concert which I went to last night. I saw Morrissey at um, the Hydro in Glasgow. So yeah, um, in this video I'll just be talking like a bit about the concert, concert going over like the set list and like yeah like um and like yeah just sort of like um generally like my like modesty concert experience um so yeah it was a really really fantastic concert i thought um like i got tickets for like a number like of reasons i mean because i must say like i mean like i'm a massive smith fan but like i'm not as familiar um like with modesty's solo work like i know like um some of like his al al albums quite well but like I'm by no means like a massive fan like of like his solo stuff. But like he's just like such like an icon, like such like a like important figure like in that like, music that I just thought like I would really regret it like if and um, really regret it like if I could never got the chance to see him live. So here was my uh, ticket. It's a sort of paper ticket, and like it was quite interesting actually because I think about uh, about three days before the concert, like I got an email like from Ticketmaster saying information regarding like the Morrissey concert and like I like was literally like, oh no like because I was thinking that he's like notorious for kind of cancelling shows like last minute like sort of like sort of like making like alterations and like and um, stuff so like I was like literally um like kind of like on like the edge like when I got like the email like but basically I but like basically like what it was like was me was that we like actually like move seats um, because I think like originally we were um, like in like a block like the hydro like it's kind of like a circle so like I think that like, we were closer to the stage but sort of like a uh, but sort of like a side on view but I think because the event it maybe didn't sell sell like as well as like they were like originally hoping that they moved like everyone like towards like the middle so it actually worked out quite well for us because we uh, originally think it was fifty pounds for our tickets and that but like we were moved to a section which was for eighty pound tickets like for no like extra cost so like yeah like actually like worked out quite well there. So actually like at like the venue as well like all of like the food outlets had went vegan like for like the night like it's like one of like Morris's like conditions like that like he like plays like the venue um, but yeah like, it didn't like bother me too much like I mean like I'll eat like anything like really so like yeah like I um like so yeah like that was all right there's also a few um merch dolls as well there wasn't too much like I didn't fancy like getting like one of like the um like one of the like official tour date t-shirts and that um like what has like all of like the dates on it but like i eventually did get a t-shirt that like, i went back down so there's the bag what comes in quite cheaply made i have to be honest with you but i did get this t-shirt though um just has a picture like of morrissey performing live on it so yeah i got that which i'm quite glad about and i also got my sister like a few things because she went along with me she's a um mild smiths fan and um, so like yeah like she came along and like i got a uh, like a t-shirt she wanted one and like they also had these um sort of eye mask things like for like when like you're sleeping which it said spent the day in bed on it they also had like spent the day in bed pillowcases and like stuff i mean like it was a bit silly but like yeah good um range of merchandise available also, another thing to note as well, like there was a bit of confusion regarding like whether there whether there would be like a support band like or not because I think some people's tickets said like Morrissey plus support, but other ones didn't. And like also on like the official sort of Facebook event page at like, the Hydro, like originally posted timings which included a support band, but like that was later like removed. Um, like in like the end, like there wasn't one. Like it was kind of just like a lot of, um film like what was like played, like kind of like showing that like, Morrissey like influences like different sort of music clips. So they had like the New York dolls sex pistols like some sort of 60s girl groups and like stuff like that which was quite effective and like they also um like included like little snippets like from films where like the smith's like album covers like were taken from so say stuff like the queen is dead like cover like they actually had like the original film clip playing like where like the still like was taken from which was quite interesting because otherwise like you because like otherwise like you would probably like never like see like the like original clip like on like less like you watched like the actual like full film like what it came from so you came from so yeah like, that was like um pretty cool so then he came on stage must have come on about um half past eight nine ish short of time and um like yeah like i've got a few clips um like from the concert which i will just insert now i'm famous i'm famous
There's no spirit left to bring. How could there be an emotion? So yeah, that was um, some um, film footage like, from the concert. Like, I did get like quite a bit. Like, there wasn't like anyone like saying that like you couldn't film. Like, it's like a big arena. Like, it's very hard like to like police like that sort of thing. But like, yeah, like it was. Um, but like, yeah, like that was like quite good. Like, I got like quite a bit of footage. I will now just go over the set list he performed. How many songs here? Twenty two songs in total. So like, yeah, like, not a bad set list. Um, like in terms of length, I will just go over it now. So he opens up. Um, quite surprisingly, to be. Honest, to be honest with a Elvis Presley cover of a song called You'll Be Gone, um, which I mean, it starts off a show all right. I mean, like, it would be better. I mean, like, it's nothing like, say, like opening with Panic, like, oh, like, the Queen is dead, like, or something like that. Um, but, like, yeah, like, it gets the show going. Then he does um, I Wish You Lonely from um, his new album, Low in High School, which is one of the better songs from the record, like, that's quite good. Then he does a Smith song, um, I Started Something I Couldn't Finish, which is from the last album, Stranger Is Here We Come. I believe this is the first time, like, he's ever done that one live, like, on like this tour so yeah like it was pretty good that he done that one then he done suede had one of his biggest solo hits and jackie's only happy when she's up on the stage again like one of like the new ones newer ones like one of like the better like newer ones and then he done how soon is now again like another smith's classic so those like first six songs are like really really great like i was like loving it like to be honest with you like me like i was thinking like if like that kind of proportion like sort of like um like sort of um like was continued like throughout like the rest like off like the show like say like two new songs to three kind of classic like modesty um slash smith songs like i was thinking like it would be like a um great great set list however he then started to do some more obscure sort of solo stuff a song called um munich air disaster 1958 which i wasn't familiar with i have to be honest with you then he done a couple ones for the new record when you open your legs which i do quite like that one like that's one off like the good ones like from the new record then another song called Who Will Protect Us From The Police. Then um, World Peace Is None Of Your Business from his last album. Then done My Love, I Do Anything For You, the opening song like a low in high school. And then Home Is A Question Mark and I Bury The Living, like again, like all from like his new record. So he is really, really pushing like this new album. And then he done a, uh, another cover song actually um back on the chain gang originally by the pretenders um which i love morrissey's version like as well as well like i think it's like every bit like as good like as the original like, original like the crowd were like singing like long to it like as well so yeah like, that was really good then he done a spent the day in bed like the single like from low in high school which like um like um like which was like a real crowd pre crowd pleaser that was like quite a big like radio hit like over here so like yeah like everyone like really knew that song quite well then like this is like the point like in like this show like where you're probably like expecting to maybe pull out like some like off like his big guns like, from like his like solo and like smith's career How however that didn't quite happen because he then done so the bullfighter dies which i think was from world peace is none of your business then another song which i didn't know actually called if you don't like me don't look at me and then um song called jack the ripper which i think was an earlier a B side or something so like yeah like, yeah like quite like ob quite like obscure choices like he's picking show did end though quite well with hold on to your friends which i think is from Vauxhall. and i i'll just check actually i've got it to hand to you hold on to your friends uh Yes, it is. So yeah, like one of like his classic solo songs there. Then, ev then, ev then every day's like Sunday again. One of his biggest hits like that. Like again, like another like real crowd pleaser. And then the main set closed with Speedway, which is the last song like from Vauxhall and I, which is one of my favourite Morrissey songs. I don't think many like off like the crowd knew that one, but I loved that like um, Speedway, fantastic track. And then after that song, like, he went off, like, the lights stayed dim, though, so, like, we were, like, expecting, like, an encore, like, which we did get, though, like, he came back on um, to do song I Irish Blood, Blood, English Heart, which was from the, um, what's it called, like, the Quarry al al album, like, You Are the Quarry, um, 
which I think this is actually like his biggest um, solo hit, like chart wise, which yeah, like, which like, yeah, like a really, really like good rocking track. And then that was it. Like he sort of like he tore his shirt off like at like the end of this one, and like um, like and like just like went off stage, and like and like the lights came up, and like that was that. So maybe a bit of like an anticlimactic ending would have been nice to get like another Smith song, like or something like towards the end. Like I know, like on the American leg, like off this tour, like he actually closed with um, Shoplift shoplifters off the world unite like i was actually like, expecting like him to do that one like afterwards but like yeah like a bit disappointed that he didn't um but like yeah overall a um sort of mixed set list like i mean like there was like some um like brilliant songs like some are like, not so good ones like as well but like actually like the performance wise like he was on top form like i thought like vocally like i was actually surprised at like how like it's all kind of like how powerful like he still was and and like the band were all really like effective like really great musicians like not kind of like they didn't really take over like from like the performers like you didn't like have like sort of like um solo segments like for many of them like they all just like complemented like the music like really well but yeah like as i said the set list it, it maybe did run out of steam towards like the middle like but certainly like for like the first um six songs like i was um like well into it because it was like kind of like um great songs like which like i knew um like from like morrissey's past but also um like new stuff like as well because i am like quite familiar like with his new album um but um album like but like yeah like by the middle like there was always people like getting up leaving like going to the loo and stuff and um, so yeah and um, also another little minor thing as well usually at these sort of big like arena events they have sort of video screens like either side like off the stage um which at this one they didn't like for like whatever reason so like it was actually quite hard to see like modestly close up i suppose like as like a plus side to that like you were actually focused like on like the stage more like rather than like two screens but yeah like overall like i had like a great time like very glad like i went and um, like i would say that if you're into modesty's um like sort of like recent solo stuff like you are gonna have like a really great time like if like you're just going like for smiths and like modesty's solo hits maybe like give it like a miss like until like he sort of like changes up like the set list like a bit but like yeah still had a really fantastic time like really great concert like um he, d he didn't cancel which was like a um fantastic thing like in like itself like usually um like there's always like something like what like happens like at like a Morrissey concert but concert but like this one kind of like went through like incident free like no like stage like um like no like stage invasions like or anything like crazy like that so yeah um really great concert um and yeah i hope you have enjoyed my little um review talky video about it um so yeah so yeah hope you have enjoyed and i will see you all next time for the next video goodbye